watching Christine Rossi, and we are here at the Rumor Fix Bar with the fabulous Nick Lowe, that I'm sure you guys all know. But Nick, tell me why you're here at Sundance. Well, thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it, first of all. So we're here promoting our crunchy toppings, uh, onion crunch and pickle crunch, here uh, at, at um, Sundance and Chef Dance. There's a lot of branding going on, so we've been uh, promoting the product. And it's, uh, it's great. So here I know at, at your suite, you've got bruschetta, you've got pizza, and onion crunch is great on everything from burgers and hot dogs to pizza. W will you try Will you try some oh on goodness. a little pizza? Okay, I get to try some. Let's try All right, some. so this is, this is bacon flavored onion crunch. Okay. It's, it's, it's vegan, so I don't, if you don't eat pork, That's it's good. perfect. That's good. And it gives a little crunch and everything to pizza. It's a little messy. This is gonna get messy, I have a feeling. Okay, but I, I think, you're, I think you're gonna like it. I'm actually really surprised right now. That's really good. I'm glad you like it. That's awesome. That really is good. So you put on pizza, you put on bruschetta. And everything from hot dogs, hot dogs, soups, salads, baked potatoes. We sell all over the country from Walmart and Kroger to Stop and Shop and Ralph's. Oh. Uh, you name it. So um, we're launching fried green tomatoes this year, crunch, cool. and jalapeno crunch this year. So those are our two new crunch toppings coming out in 2015. So what made you get involved in something like this? Are you, are you, are you a chef? What do you think? Well, I've been a cook my whole life, not really a certified chef, but I've always loved to cook. And it was a product, the original product was Onion Crunch Original I found in Scandinavia as a topping for hot dogs. And I started bringing it over and importing it. And everyone loved it, and our retailers wanted to see more crunchy toppings. So we invented Pickle Crunch this year. We launched that in Walmart, and that's been doing so great, they want us to bring in two more items next year. Wow, that's great. Well, you guys gotta try it, because it's excellent. But I do have to get to the rumors right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you know we have to ask the rumors. Of so course. a lot of rumors about cheating accusations going on between you and Sophia. Well, I, that wasn't me, I wasn't cheating. I was with Sophia for you know four and a half years, and uh, you know she, she's an amazing woman. All right, so what did she do with the ring? Uh, no, she has the ring. I, you know, after we split up, you know, it wasn't something I was gonna she still has the ring. She does. She does. Yes. She didn't give it back. She did not. Wow. And you didn't ask for it back. I did not. Wow. That's interesting. Do you think she's like gonna sell it or do something with it? Do you think she's gonna keep it? I what do you think? What she's, do you think she's, she's a woman. She loves jewelry. I'm sure she'll accessorize with it. Okay, I like it. I like it. Now, who are you dating? We know who Sophia's dating, but who are you dating? Well, I try to keep my personal life personal. Personal. So you know. But um, are you dating? Maybe somebody, but I just you know keeping that quiet right right now. Yes. Okay. And then tell me also about, let's see, what else can I ask you that's really juicy? Is there any rumor out there that you would like to fix? Um, no, listen, I'm, I'm, you know, everyone is, you know, thinks uh, I'm not so, well, it was really funny. There's, so there, they asked me about the engagement. Yeah. Um, and my comment was, I hope they put pickle crunch on their wedding cake. And I, <laughs> <laughs> that's but of course, oh, you could send it as a wedding gift. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but of course, somebody wrote an article that says, uh, Nick's salty comment. Oh, that's funny. But I think there was sort of a double that's entendre. Good. That's good. That's yeah, good. well, I'm not very salty about everything. I'm very happy about everything. And everything's been, been great. So um, okay. well, I'm super happy to be here. I'm super that. happy to be on your show. And I appreciate uh, you helping support my company. All right, Nick, I gotta ask you. So about that. No, I'm actually really happy that she's found somebody special in her life. You know, I think everybody deserves happiness. And if Joe's to bring that into her life, I think that's wonderful. She was great to me for four and a half years, and, and I wish him all the best. Well, that's a good man right here. Thanks for joining us, Nick Loeb, here at the Rumor Fix Bar at Sundance.